Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Man 25 Next Gen Online game. Today, we got the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys in a winner's take all week 17 game for the NFC East. Cowboys win it, they're in, but they're having their backup quarterback play, Kyle Orton. So it's going to be tough for them. For the Eagles, they technically had their backup quarterback in, which is Nick Foles from the start of the season. But they're happy with Foles because Foles has been killing it. And they're also happy with LaShawn McCoy. And early on, he got the running game percolating with LaShawn McCoy. Look at him just ducking that guy, getting a few yards. And he's getting um, his drive going early. I do have the Cowboys, by the way. And early on, I played good at the Cowboys defense. Couldn't really stop anything. Foles forced him to roll out the pocket in. Um, he just didn't turn around for the ball. I'm playing against Lawson Unbound, by the way. Um, same guy I played yesterday with the um, Colts game. So, um... No, I've already mentioned him. He's pretty cool. He has about like 7,500 subs. His channel's growing a lot. He does 2K and Madden. So check him out. He's got a good channel. And he almost punted the ball at the one yard line there. Yeah, link will be in the description, by the way, just to wrap that up. But um, yeah, he almost punted the ball at the one yard line. Instead, thankful we dodge a bolt there and we get the ball at the 20. And immediately we start running the ball to Marco Murray. Because with Kyle Orton in the game, I know that I gotta rely on DeMarco Murray as much as I can. I don't want to force Orton to throw it, but here three out of five, we pretty much have to, and we find Teddy Williams there for the first down. And how about we run the ball with Kyle Orton? I don't want to throw with him too much, but how about I run the ball with Kyle Orton and do a juke move there? Kyle Orton putting the moves on, and this game pretty much wraps up one of the craziest days ever in the NFL as far as regular season. Some of those games are completely sick, like this Des Bryant catch in the back of the end zone there. I believe that's Fletcher there, who just didn't even put up, Fletcher or um, Williams, one of them just didn't even put up a fight. And Des Bryant ends up getting the touchdown there, and we scored the games for his points there right before the end of the first quarter. And now LaShawn McCoy's back on the field, and it is tough to stop anything, because there's not really much, you know, great players to play with on this Dallas team. You know, um, Sean Lee is out. Anthony Spencer, a lot of people are, if you're a Cowboys fan, you know that the lot just a laundry list of injuries, and, um, you know, it's just a mess, but we're gonna try to deal with what we have and make the best out of it, here's second down and 11, we get a sack, he tries to throw a screen pass there, and we end up getting a sack there, and then third down to 16, he tries to take a shot, and we end up intercepting that pass there with Heat, kind of read that he was gonna want to go to that slot receiver on the street there, because I saw him do it before, and... Like once or twice before in the game. So we end up getting the interception there. And then we go back to the option with Kyle Orton. Because that's what was working before. So we run our option with Kyle. But we run two times in a row. And th this is, I might as well run this all game. Kyle Orton read options. He's going to let me do it. I'm going to keep on doing it. Three rushes for 49 yards already. And here we bust out the play action here. You know, all the running. Figured, you know, trying to, why not run play action? I have a few guys. So I have B and A both open there. But as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm trying to do a lot of those deep shots at the end zone. I try to take one there, but I get a pot right I could throw it, bring up third down and 10. Now Kyle Orton looking to pass, and I try to find Jason Witten there, but Boykins is all over him, and we're forced to settle for the field goal, which he almost, I don't know why the hell he was trying to block my kick or whatever the hell he was trying to do, but we end up making that field goal nonetheless, and we get a nice 10 nothing lead. So, we're playing pretty good, defense is playing pretty well so far, and you know, the offense is playing great, but it's good enough to score points, and that's all you got to ask for right now. Especially with Madden, you know, get the defensive stops, and you're good. And here, uh, Foles running out the pocket, trying to take off for a few yards, and I believe, yeah, this is the play. He gets injured here, and he's not out for the game, but um, for some reason, Lawson unbound. Uh, he, like, full, you'll see Foles, like, his injury is, like, low. He'll come back soon, but he kept Vic in the game for whatever reason. So, you're going to see Mike Vic from here on out. No more Nick Foles, and now Mike Vic is in the game. So, um, who knows? Maybe this might happen in real life. Foles gets injured, and Vic comes in and try to play savior. I don't know, but um, Vic is in the game. Here, I see Foles pinch next nerve or whatever, and he ended up not bringing him back. So, I got to deal with Mike Vic and his running element for the rest of the game. And, oh, my God, if I had a taller guy instead of Heath or just a smarter person, I would have ball hawked for that one. Instead of standing there like Heath. That would have been an interception. Instead, Shady McCoy running up the middle right through the Dallas defense, as many people have done this season. And there, next play, Shady McCoy in the end zone for a touchdown. He's diving in for whatever reason. That doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, a ranked game probably bothers me more than, like, a friendly game when someone dives in. I just... I don't know, I'm not even, like, focused on that kind of stuff in a friendly game. I'm trying to have fun or whatever, you know? And here, um, right for the two-minute warning, trying to get a drive going here to get at least three points, maybe even seven if we can find something. And we go in the middle of the field to Des Bryant, but Bryant cannot hang on. Bring that, bring up second down and ten. We roll out the pocket here with Orton, and we throw it on the run to Jason Witten, but we cannot get the first down. So third down and five, don't want to take any risks, but at the same time, we want to get a first down. And so I throw to Dwayne Harris, and Dwayne Harris on the run catches it, and Harris always hit it. 
the 10, the 5, and finally gets tackled at the 3-yard line with 13 seconds left. A huge play in this game because next play, Jason Witten breaks the tackle and gets in the end zone for a touchdown. And we, we were not even destined to get 3 points on that drive. Instead, we got a chance at getting a... Well, we did get a full 7 there. And, you know, a few seconds left. He's trying to get something going for halftime and... And find Deshaun Jackson in the corner. So one second left, he's going to take a shot for the end zone. And look at this. I accidentally run down field with Heath, leaving Deshaun Jackson one-on-one. -on -one, and Deshaun Jackson catches it and almost gets in the end zone, but does not. Morris Claiborne is able to tackle him at the one-yard line to prevent a Hail Mary-like play. And what happened on that play was, as soon as the play started... I hit the right trigger down by accident, and he just ran downfield. I couldn't control it. He was running downfield. I'm trying to pull the left trigger back up, but he kept on running. I'm like, no, 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 this can't be happening. But thankfully, you know, we didn't get the touchdown. But unfortunately, on our first drive of the second half, we go three now, and we're forced to punt. He's trying to make something happen with Deshaun Jackson, but we're not going to let that happen instead. He loses like, what, 15 to 20 yards. They're trying to make a spectacular play. And now he brings back LaShawn McCoy, and who cares if he lost those 20 yards? LaShawn McCoy's going to get him back on this play and once again just struggling to find a way to stop McCoy 10 rushes for 71 yards he's definitely having his way on the ground with McCoy and I gotta start keying in on that I gotta force him to throw it anything that's oh my god how about you run it again forget trying to force him to throw it how about we just crack McCoy I believe he's out for the game after that injury and I was just perfectly set up by me where um I tripped McCoy and as soon as he went in that tripping animation Claiborne just lit McCoy up and now he loses McCoy for the rest of the game. Is oh, is that Miles Austin or De Des Bryant actually making that catch in the middle of the field? Great catch by Des, but um, yeah, big time loss from losing Shady McCoy for the game. Bryce Brown is still pretty decent Madden wise, but McCoy is easily like top three back in Madden, you know. Like, you, you want to play with Jamal Charles, Adrian Peterson, and then probably McCoy is next in line. As we get the first down there, two miles Austin. Next play, going to take a shot in the back of the end zone for Dez Bryant, who usually comes down with those catches. But this time, he does not get both feet in bounds. Second down and 10, we take another shot for Dez, but we get intercepted by Boykins. Um, Dez just never reacted to the ball there, and instead... We throw the pick, and, you know, he still got life in this game. He still got life. He still got Vic. He might not have McCoy, but he has Vic's running ability at least, and he throws it in the middle of the field to Selick, and, you know, like I said, that that mistake I made gave him some life. I don't want to say mistake. It was just kind of weird where my guy didn't react, but still, nonetheless, he's in the game, and he almost threw an interception to take him back out, but second down and 10, why not go to the run game? Run game's been working, but with Bryce Brown, not so much. He's no shady McCoy, bringing up third down and nine. Definitely needs to get this conversion rolling out out throwing it deep into double coverage and Sully cannot come down with it and fourth down nine he decides to go for it in this situation of the game just rolling out and how about you just take off Mike Vick and that's the element that Mike Vick brings that uh what's his name <laughs> um Nick Foles cannot bring and here Bryce Brown trying to make something happen but ends up getting stuffed instead by Barry Church second down Vick once again rolling out the pocket all the time in the world and Vick continues to get um good yards just by rolling out there which is something I wasn't even planning for in this game having to play against Vick but here he is and now third down two he runs it with Brown next play play action but he throws an interception he thought me had me he thought he had me on the play fake there but I was looking at that tight end all game because like I mentioned he liked throwing it to the slot receiver whether it was a tight end or a wide receiver so I was always looking out for that and there I was looking out for Selick because he had he has completed a few of them too and this time he completes it to the wrong team as he finds uh, I find Des Bryant in the middle of the field to start the fourth quarter next play trying to run a screen pass nothing there so I just throw the slant thankfully the slant gets open take a good yard and next play the flea flicker and look at that wide open downfield Des Bryant on the flea flicker he run commits and it should be a touchdown but Des um had to slow down a little bit for the pass and then for some reason like skied up in the air um allowing him to be caught at the nine yard line we tried to throw the hat back pass and he did not let me get there with it now that was probably not going to be a completion for all purpose like I don't think Witten was getting there, but since he ran into Witten, like, literally prevented him from getting in, that brings up first down goal to one, and a chance for me to pitch it to Des Bryant for a touchdown. How about that? Why not pitch it back to Des Bryant and get a touchdown? 
you know, I probably could just ran to do um, DeMarco Murray, but um, that one's a little bit more flashier. I like it that way better. So now we're up 7 to 24. Pretty much have this game under control with under four minutes to go, and he's just chucking it up right now. And Brandon Carr comes up with the interception. Defense has been playing locked down in this game. He does get some big plays here and there. He does move and get first downs, but eventually he just doesn't find his way to the end zone, and that is what we're cashing in on right now. As, as Brian catches yet another pass, Des is having a big day, and for the Cowboys to win this game, they definitely need Dez to um, make some big plays like that to help out Kyle Wharton as well as DeMarco Murray to make some plays on the ground. Though Kyle Wharton can't do that. Throw an interception. Now, obviously, if it's like a rain game or something or a more serious game, I'm clocking the hell out of this guy. But, you know, I'm just throwing the ball, trying to have a little bit of fun. I end up throwing the interception instead. So, he still got a little bit of life. And look at the Marius Johnson breaking tackles there, getting a 21-yard gain. Next play, Vic rolling out once again all the time in the world. And he finds the back of that second string tight end, Ertz there. And Ertz after jerk juking a guy gets the touchdown so 10 point lead goes with an onside kick which was pretty much his only chance to come back but he cannot get it and on um, that throw that was just a great throw there by Vic squeezing it like I believe between Claiborne there and then he made a nice juke on whoever the hell I was trying to get okay, control of there and you know, now with the ball here, just pretty much got to do what I got to do. Now we're going to clock, so we're going to try to score more points with Des Bryant here. As we get a nice catch in the middle of the field, and Des Bryant gets all the way to the 10-yard line, getting 200 yards receiving for the game. So, Des has definitely been the MVP of this game. We run play action here with Orton, trying to throw in the back of the end zone for Bryant one more time, but Orton tries to throw it into the, the fans for some reason, trying to give the fans a souvenir. Third down 16, just going to take one more shot. Why not? And Des almost comes down with that one. But unfortunately, Des cannot hang on. And we end up selling for the field goal. So, um, two possession game. He still has a little bit of a chance. Try to play this one up, man. He still has a little bit of a chance, right? And he's just got to, you know, take shots downfield. Avoid the pressure of Vic there. Um, luckily for him, he was able to up, um, not get a sack there. And instead, look to play another down. And once again, rolling out with Vic. Staying in the pocket. But nothing gets open. And he's forced to take yet another hit. So, third down, 10 comes up. And this time, he finally finds someone in the middle of the field. Bryce Brown. Clock is running, though. So, I'm not too worried. Even though he has all his timeouts. Not really fearing that I'm going to lose this game. I'm definitely watching that Bryce Brown throw. But was on it and he still got there to Brown who caught the ball in traffic. I thought I was gonna get the interception there, but this time I'm not gonna allow it to happen. Even though he thinks, you know, maybe third time the charm, third time the charm for me, not for you. I'm eventually gonna get that picked up. I'm not letting that dude get the same route three times in a row. Barry Church gets the interception and definitely clinches this game up. I think I run like one or two more plays and then we end this game. So and once again I try that Des Bryant Plays working pretty decent in this game. Got a touchdown, got a four-yard gain. Still working on that one, but it's coming out all right right now. The way that play looked. I mean, didn't look that good in the, um, the Bengals-Ravens game I did, but it's looking all right in that game. And this ends up being the last play. Just throw Des Bryant there. Let the clock run. Not going to call any timeouts or anything. Let the thing whatever run out, and we end up coming out with the win. So, hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Man 25 online games and that stuff. Good game to Lawson on Bound. He played a good game. One more time, his link will be in the description. You want to check out LNU's channel. And on that note, I will catch you guys next time.